So I wanted to do a video of what I used for my baby chicks when I first got them. My coworker very kindly lent this to me when I talked to him about getting chickens. This is what he used as well when he got his baby chicks. So he lent this to me before I bought the chickens. And just like this, it's a big bucket. I can sit in it comfortably. I'm not sure exactly how big it is, how many gallons, but I can sit in it comfortably. On the top, you can see he cut out the middle, punched holes all around, and used zip ties to tie chicken wire onto the bottom part of the lid. And this way, the chicks can breathe. So if I open this, I already have it unlocked. You open this, and it locks on both sides too, you know, which is nice because when my chicks got older, they would push up on the top and try to get out. So it's kind of nice that it locks. So inside the bucket, uh, he has the water thing. This worked out pretty good. You put water from the top and there's a little red nipple on the bottom that the chickens drink from. Um, this one I did, if you saw in my other videos, I had to raise it on a brick so that it wasn't sitting on the uh, bedding that I had the chicks on. And then the feeder. So you wanna have a feeder to put food in and a waterer for sure. And I know a lot of people use heat lamps, um, but this is a heat, a heat thing where it has heat underneath instead of a lamb, which I was very happy about because I would have been nervous having this inside my house because I had it in a guest room with a heat lamp on all day while nobody was home. So this is a heating pad. There's heat underneath the pad and there's three levels that you can put this thing at. So when the baby chicks, when I first got the baby chicks, it was on the lowest level. And then as they grew older and bigger, I moved it, moved the levels up so that it could accommodate their growth. And then uh, by the time I had them outside, it was all the way on the top and they weren't really sleeping underneath it anymore. And that's when I knew that they would be ready to go outside. So once I got the chicks, I just filled the bottom with pine shavings, put this on top, put this on a brick, put this on a brick and that's it. They were ready to go. So just wanted to show you guys what I used and what I felt was very helpful and I'm very grateful that my coworker was nice enough to lend this to me.